Welcome back, Sidekick subscribers and viewers out there today. If you're new to the channel, you're not confused. You are watching Shadow of Mordor, but this is a countdown to the sequel, Shadow of War. We're on day 63 of the countdown. That means it's 63 days, literally, until October 10th and the much-anticipated release of Middle of Earth, Shadow of War. In the meantime, we're doing some gameplay and doing some discussion in the comments below about what to expect in Shadow of War. Currently, we've been reviewing all the various ranks for orcs, the various orcs that are out there. I must, I must say there are many. There are, as I count them right now, uh, we have Destroyer 1, Commander 2, Assassin 3, Beastmaster 4, Marksman 5, Tracker 6, Berserker 7, and finally, and is what we know, Trickster 8. So eight different ranks or classes, if you will, of the possible Uruks and Orcs of Shadow of War, far more than what, if not double, what we have in Shadow of Mordor. And today we're looking at the Trickster. If you were um, curious as to what the last one was, the Berserker, you can go back, check out the playlist in the description below and learn about that and the others, because I'm putting them all in a playlist and add it to your watch list because we're bringing you daily content, as in we, I mean me. Now on to the Trickster. Who is he? What can he do? What is their rank and class all about? The Trickster is an expert in surprise attacks he's difficult to predict as the name implies so along with his tricksty abilities comes something called the smoke bomb now the smoke bomb is probably seemingly what it sounds like I'm I don't know is it like a Batman throw down smoke bomb boom disappear what what kind of smoke bomb leave a comment below what you think that could be could it be gaseous and poisonous could it just be simply his way to suddenly and instantly disappear from and flee from battles? Hard to know. Or maybe it's a way for him to be able to cloak his ability uh, for you to attack him. And maybe you have to use the Wraith ability. I don't know. Uh, to see him. It could be all of those or none of those. Hard to tell. But what we do know is the Trickster is Trixie, as Golem would say it. Trixie. All right. Well, if you guys have enjoyed that, um, now if we do... Without further ado, let me make a transition now to some gameplay. And as I mentioned before, we've been changing up the skins in every episode, and we've gone through every one, maybe except for Talion at this point. So we're just going to do good old Talion. Leave a comment below the skin that you also would want me to play as, and I'll take that in consideration in the future episodes. All right, continue story. Here we go. Now, it should be mentioned as a side note that there are some other classes that we could predict to have come out, such as the Necromancer. That was, I believe, revealed in the uh, trailer for the gameplay of Shadow of War. We do know the Necromancer exists. Savage is another one. Tank is one, which sounds pretty awesome. And then Slayer. Those are a few others, which bumps 8 up to um, 12. So, obviously, we have a few more to expect, but yet unsure what they could be um we'll probably bring those up in the future and discuss those at a later date but for this episode don't forget we're talking about the trickster and bringing in now the storyline of gameplay we had just recently killed uh borg i think it was or something like that with the shield and stuff and we were in the heart of the um the uh enemy territory somewhere over here and we collected up some of the awesome lore stuff do leave a comment below if you'd be interested in lore maybe dedicate an episode to that but in this series as we count down we're really focusing on the story mode and getting into the dlc content as quickly as possible and then um hopefully forging for ourselves a nemesis as i said in the last episode we want to come up into this region so let's go ahead and fast travel over here I do believe that in the future episodes, if you're curious, um, I'll make mention at the end of this video what other uh, reveals, what other things we're going to be talking about in Shadow of War. So do stick around to the end of the episode as I give a little bit of a hint of what I'll be releasing tomorrow, and I think you'll like it. It's going to be taking a transition. All right, so we have our way a long distance, and on the way we might as well pick this up. So here we go. It appears to be in the very heart of a stronghold wonderful but if we are sneaksies if we are sneaky oh how do those baddies unbelievable see i guess if you just hunch over and walk like this nobody can see you. you're practically invisible so pro tip for life looks like this thing's on the bridge here it's amazing they don't make me a damn war chief. yep 
there it is. Gonna have to do a little shimmying over. And let's pick this sucker up. I were Katha Ivorn. I don't read Elvish, so I hope I said that right. Cool. If you read Elvish, let me know. That'd be pretty awesome. All right, so now we've picked that up, and we're on our way into the dangerous world and realm. Let's see if we can't pick up this uh, tower first. Kill the ranger, and you get a barrel of grog. This guy's just laughing. Oh, because he's got a slave. And execution. Oh. <laughs> got some more slaves to free. Oh, you poor saps. Don't worry, I'll kill him for you. An ability point gained. Thank you. You're welcome. Just don't run into trouble, you idiots. Run away from it. There you go. They're smart. Sometimes not so much. You'd be surprised. I've seen those slaves literally run into a stronghold after I freed them. <laughs> it's just like, guys, why do I even bother? But in this case, I think they were kind of running the other way. It's a good, good job for them. And here is our tower. Slam the hammer down as Thor would yet as a wraith. A mithril-laden ancestral doom I push away with light. Okay, that sounds good. Let's grab this on the way as we're over. Set waypoint and, and then uh, go find the one truth. Like the one ring. Perhaps it's related. Ah! It's on that tall tower. Very well. Let's make the climb, shall we? You know, what I love about this game is, you know, how he's able to scale anything, anywhere, almost anything, anywhere. It's pretty much like Assassin's Creed, which I love. Hey, look, we made our... There's a little dude there. Um, uh, I can see a couple of them now, whatever that perhaps may be. I don't know yet. We need to find more. All right, set the waypoint and run for it. See, that's like the eagle jump, you know, from Assassin's Creed. That's what I love. It's like a combination of Arkham Asylum and... We're going to kill all these guys and they're never even going to know it. Watch this. Oh, my mistake. They were smarter than I thought. Either way, they still died. So there we go. We got a critical strike too. Hey, look. There's another thing. Let's grab it since we're just right right next to it. You know? Oh. It's the talk! It's the talk! What the crap is a talk? The talk. They're, they're pretty good at throwing their axes. I've got to hand it to them. But they still missed, so... Maybe not that good. Ooh, dead bird? You serious? They fly over the scar the skies of Mordor, the Hellhawks. Crows such as these poor fellows are hunted relentlessly, but not as food, because they're messengers for the spies. Cool. Just thought that was, you know, worthy of reading, you know, a dead bird's nest that you see all the time. We underestimated our enemies. They are forged for one purpose, to destroy the world of men. And elves. Ooh. Now this looks interesting. Golem is hungry to lead the Bright Master to the artifacts. With each discovery, the power of the Wraith grows, and this is very good for us, obviously, and his connection to the Dark Lord becomes clearer. What connection that could that be? Was it perhaps the Dark Lord? That he I don't know. We'll have to find out. Well, where is he? Actually I do know. Your friend is either a liar or a coward. Maybe it was you threatening his life. Treasure. 
Okay. The little vermin is not here. The eagle hunts rabbits from up high, and so shall we. Well, the Karagors have a great sense of... That's got to be their animal instincts. Sense of smell or something. He was picking me up quick. These towers were not built by the Dark Lord, but to challenge him. No, mm. only ruins. Buried in darkness. So these towers were built to challenge the Dark Lord. Very cool. And... Here it is, the thing. Or the Karagor, I guess. The Grog, the Golag, the Goobers. Whoa! That was, that was an overkill. Highly territorial. Grog, yeah, Grog. Just 20 men to bring that beast out. Oh, then we must find another way. 20 men or just one wraith? An Italian. <laughs> Sounds like I said Italian. Charging for the cave's mouth will only lead us into the Grog's jaws. Grog. A well placed arrow will do the trick here. A well placed arrow. You got it. Impressive, Talia. That should keep the Grog occupied. Dang it. We have so many seconds. I was hoping to grab that relic thing. Run, Talia, you fool. Yeah, oh, made it. In death. Grog. Okay. Look who it is. Ghouls. It's our little ghoul friends. Now the dead ghouls. We don't want them uh, alerting our uh, their friends that we're here. It's surely not the Grog. And now is ready for another. Dang, this place is one deep cave, and you know, quite a scary one at that too. Where are you going, you little boogers? Vermin from the depths of the earth. I thought that's what dwarves were. Search for the artifact. Oh, I bet it's up here. Actually, I know it's up here, because <laughs> I've done this before. Some tongs? Maybe they're still hot. There's the tongs. This is so epic, guys. This is the rings of power. You know, nine given to the men. Great kings of the Middle Earth. Seven to the Dwarf Lords. Rings of power they were. Four to the Dwarves. Or something. I can't remember the numbers. Only you could accomplish such art, Celebrimbo. Smith of the Second Age. I'd heard the stories, but I remember my name now. I shaped the history of Middle Earth. I crafted the Rings of Power. And we have company. And I don't think he likes entertaining guests. Shadow Strike time, baby. Yes. Uh oh, ghouls can shoot nasties. Oh yes. Run, the cave is being destroyed. Uh-huh. Run. Run for your life, Talion. Run, Talion. 
You do not have much time. Oh, no! Dag, nabbit, rabbit. This is not going too well for me. Oh, there's one up there. Yes. That was good. Well placed. Woo! The grog. I like to move it, move it. <laughs> you better move it. And good riddance. Woo. I'm well played. The one responsible for all of this. That's why Saren wants me. No. No. Bright Master is good. He looks after us. That's the same thing he said to Frodo. Master Ranger. He knows nothing of the Bright Master. I know of his legend. How Sauron deceived you into making the rings. He tortured both you and your king. I'm the precious. The master makes it too. Where is it? I have no memory of any such thing. Why would it even matter? The master must remember. Yes, he must. We... We dig up more treasures. Yes. Yes, yes. <sighs> And there is always the motive, the selfish motive of Golem. Hey, we got a bonus objective complete. Memory, the rings of power, lying to men. Their power became their undoing. They became the ring wraiths. Yes, the Nazgul. But the Nazgul were destroyed. As are many who come in contact with the rings of power. Who does the writer think he is with all these bouncing moves? Let me see if I can't grab this uh, artifact thing. It's somewhere around here. I can hear it. Ah, there it is. Uh huh. Nani here, Gelar Mordor. Avab Gelebrin. Cool, cool. The Barrows of Undun. Well, I hope you enjoyed that rather exciting episode and enjoy this beautiful scenery behind me of the mountains of the Middle of Earth. Surely, if you've enjoyed this series, you would would like to leave a comment and subscribe and share and and all that great stuff would you not check the description below for the playlist make sure you add it to yours of your watch because I'm bringing you daily Shadow of Mordor content as a countdown this is day 63 until Shadow of War anticipating that awesome game we are playing some gameplay and don't forget to leave a comment about the trickster and what the smoke bombs are all about and perhaps you may know more than I so I'd love to hear from you guys well, I believe that pretty much sums up everything up. Now, I will bring you another episode. See you tomorrow. And may I just say, the thing I was going to tell you that you were waiting for in the end of the episode is now going to be revealed. Next, we're going to be talking about traits and the use of weapons and abilities. And that's going to be fun because there's a lot. And we're going to be talking about it. And uh, it's going to be awesome. So, that correlates to the streets, the strengths and helpful traits for battle. And not only just for those that are your nemesis, but also those that are your followers. Because in the next uh, sequel, you're going to have some awesome followers. And their abilities will carry over and help you a lot immensely in those battles. Well, again, this is Hero87, your host, saying thank you for watching. Signing off. Later, sidekicks!